Alright, I'm going to show you how to take apart the Samsung Moment and show you guys where the JTAG connector is. Um, bear with me because I am recording this on my other Samsung Moment, so... Um, bear with me. Okay, take off the back first. Take out the battery. Take the SD card out. If you don't take the SD card out, it will snap in half when you take the phone apart, so make sure you take that out. And then there's a couple screws here. You got six screws in total. Um, let me get a smaller screwdriver head here. Alright, so you take out the six screws. This phone has the six screws in it, but honestly, they're not really needed because it does snap together pretty well, so... If you guys have a non-marring tool, um, that would be even better to take it apart. If you don't have one of those, a uh, guitar pick works fine. Me, I'm just going to use my fingernails because, well, I don't have access to either currently. So, I'm going to take the screws out here. Now to pop the case apart, it's normally a good idea to start over here by one of these buttons. Make sure this is pulled out. The um, headphone thing, make sure you unpull, unplug that. And you want to start over taking it apart by starting by working right here on the um, button. Work up over the top of the phone. Get your fingernail in between the crease. And just work it around until you get all the little secret clips broken loose. Um, you can be fairly rough with it. It's it's pretty durable plastic. So um, I mean, I take apart probably 30 or 40 of these a day. So it's um, not that bad to take apart. All right. I don't know if you guys can see it, but see this little port right here, right next to the battery terminal. That, my friend, is a JTAG port. Um, it is very easy to hook up to. It's just a ribbon cable that pops right on it, and you can debug the entire phone from that. The um, You saw how easy it was to take it apart, so it's uh, you just pop the JTAG on there, and you can put the battery in there and power the phone up with it like that. Um, everything works, so... Actually, that's how we pull the phone out of um, when somebody bricks their phone doing an update or somebody perma bricks their phone to where even the software update program can't pull it out. We can pull it out using that. So that's a low level debugging port that you can also use to flash. So um, if you guys want to have a go at multi touch on this phone, that would be the spot you need to look at right there, the JTAG port. Thanks.